and finding the drug runner guy. Right. They're around somewhere. Ooh, that was too fast. If you go slow, you can just walk right down the steep hills and take no damage. You just have to go the right direction. What well, doesn't necessarily have to be an open world game. I like other kinds of games too. And uh I like classic games. I don't know. I, I don't really play that many of the newer games. Like I still play the original Black Ops. <laughs> I tried some of the newer games, and some of them are okay, and some of them, like Ghosts, are really, really bad. But I always end up back at the classics. Uh, maybe I'll just use a step pack. Oh, that should do. Just need to do something about that whole breaking myself on the mountain situation. No, no! I didn't say retro. I said classic. If I was gonna do retro gaming, there would be very different options. I honestly don't have an anything that would play it. But somewhere around here, probably not too far from me, but I don't know where. The only game left from my retro collection is a copy of Dr. Mario that is older than I am. Hello. I used to Please. have like Duck Hunt and all the accessories and the NES and all the good shit. Yes, some retro games are classic. But I think if you're including instant classics, a lot of games are classic but not retro. Like Space Invaders and Pac-Man are retro. Follow New Vegas is classic. I don't know, that's just me. I might have a skewed opinion, but... That's where I'm at. I mean, yes, those are good examples. Honestly, now that I said it, I could like really go for some Space Invaders. I really like that game. Lots of good pew pews. Yeah, yeah, Donkey Kong. I can get behind that. <laughs> I've got, uh... I've had this for, like, my whole life. I bet there's a good chance some of you recognize this general case. I've got here... Nimco Museum. Great selection of games. 50th anniversary edition. That's Sims 2. Eh. Donkey Kong Country. Excellent game. Most, most excellent. Nothing in here right now. Well, that's unacceptable. Where did Mario Kart go? I've got... Mario Kart and Mario World and then I have some random other stuff that I acquired like oh I forgot to put my games away I have somewhere not in my things I play often case some random stuff that was given to me by other people like I've got this Nemo game that's 
It's pretty much like the underwater levels of Mario. Except it's a Nemo, find, like a Finding Nemo game. It wasn't the world's greatest game, but it, like it didn't suck, which actually surprised me. Now see, everything I just showed you is classic, but it's not necessarily retro. Now, if I knew... Yeah, I've got no idea where my copy of Dr. Mario is, but it makes me smile just to look at it even though I can't play it. <laughs> Honestly, I, I was the pores, so I didn't have a lot of the game stations, so I went from, like, NES to that the Game Boy Advance color that I just showed you guys. And then I got a GameCube, and then I adopted a PlayStation 3 from a friend uh, when we were roomies. And then later on I had to buy one because it broke. But, uh, yeah, my, my gaming evolution really hasn't included that many systems. At one point I had an original Xbox. But I, I took a big leap from, like, I don't know, I think, I think I went straight from retro game station to low class new school because like GameCubes weren't new when I got one but it was the first actual physical game station I got after the NES I was so happy with it and I wish I still had it it was tech <coughs> sorry guys uh, it was technically my dad's and then I think at one point he sold it or something. I don't really know what happened to it. It disappeared. I wish it hadn't. I used to have so many awesome toys. I had a racetrack and monster trucks, like remote control monster trucks. Big old massive heavy ones. They were awesome. I had so many cool toys that I don't have any idea what happened to them. And I miss them. But as you can see, that didn't stop me from replacing them with a whole new series of toys. I have a remote control R2-D2. That's the only remote control thing I have. Which is kind of sad. Disappointing. I need more remote control things. Thank you for that new follow, that's awesome. I'm just sitting here talking, which is less exciting than it sometimes is, so that's awesome. Yeah, see I skipped over the earlier Game Boys. Mostly because they weren't options. And then, uh, all of a sudden we could afford the new Game Boy, I guess. But like, that that Game Boy was the shit. I loved that thing so much. I still play it. It's still alive, it still brings me joy. It's a great gift. See, I never personally had a Genesis. I knew some people that had them. So, I think I've played on them a couple times. But yeah, I never actually had one. I've got a DS floating around here somewhere. I'm not sure where it is, but uh, that's probably where my Mario Kart game got off to. Somewhere around here I've got a drawer with the rest of my games for that in it. 
I mostly used my DS to play Game Boy games. So like, I didn't even play that many DS games. I was I was one of those kids who had Nintendogs because I couldn't get a real one. So I had all the dogs, but they had to live inside the screen. And then we got real dogs and I stopped playing it and went back to just playing my Game Boy games. I've not played Harvest Moon. <laughs> Nintendogs was the shit for a while. Like, everybody had Nintendogs. You, you had to have it. It was a thing. And it wasn't an unenjoyable game. But it wasn't really a game. It was like... Chore Simulator. <laughs> So it's... It certainly wasn't for everyone. But it could have been worse. Yeah, that's fair. At a certain point, I just... Ended up like, I had enough money to get a smartphone. And then I just switched to only playing games on my phone for a while, which is pretty limiting. But I've actually enjoyed PC gaming. So having a laptop has been a nice upgrade, but I need a better laptop in order to play a lot of the things and do a lot of the things I'd like it to do. My roommate has a Switch. And I actually really like it. I don't play it that often. Um, but I did really enjoy, like, having it around for uh, Mario Kart. It's nice and portable. And you can play it handheld or you can play it on the screen. And it still only takes up this much space on the TV stand, which is cool. I haven't played the new Animal Crossing. Um, I have a pocket camp on my phone. And I had the original Animal Crossing for GameCube. But I haven't tried it on Switch. Uh, largely because you're only allowed to have one account on a Switch, and it's not mine. <laughs> so I don't really want to use the only account that you can have on there for me when it's not my switch I didn't ever really get that into Legend of Zelda but I was crazy bananas for Mario I still am like I, I don't play them that often mostly because I don't really have a way to like, I've got the Switch, I could play Mario Kart. And then, I've got Mario World, but it's for Wii? And like, I don't have a Wii. Nobody has a fucking Wii anymore. So that game's not doing me any good. <laughs> that general system was such a flop. Mario was the only thing I really ever played on it. <laughs> that sounds like it would be a nice sleep. Yeah, that's that's exactly my first thought was like, yeah, that would be great tunes. Good listenings. Uh, I have really enjoyed the Umbrella Academy as something to listen to when I go to sleep. It has an amazing soundtrack. Although there's also a lot of like loud noises and boom booms and stuff, but if you're good at sleeping through that, Umbrella Academy, so good. So good. Like, the show is really good, the soundtrack is absolutely, mm, it's amazing. Best soundtrack of 2020. I don't 
don't think that's a game I ever played. Mario Galaxy 2. Um... I was more into the Mario world and cart lines of the series. Like, I, I didn't really enjoy a lot of the Mario Party games. I tried the most recent one that came out, and I played it with some friends, uh, and it was actually pretty fun. I enjoyed it. But, I don't know, I've played previous versions, and I just couldn't get into it. Maybe it's just me, and it's not the game being less interesting than the others, but... <laughs> My possibly unpopular opinion. I don't I don't love Mario Party as a genre. <laughs> We've been doing pretty My good. God. This chat's been going for Let a while. Me down, I, please. I've been going for like almost fifteen minutes there and <laughs> didn't do any <laughs> gameplay at all. Well, that's true. Uh, Thanks I have, for getting me down from that cross. I have a couple of friends who play one. ESO, and it's definitely more exciting to play, like group up and play with other people, or at least have other people around to talk to you while you're playing single-person games. Like I had a friend who was also really into uh, New Vegas. And we had set it up so that we had, like, two TV screens and, like, a couch and chair facing different directions. And we played through New Vegas at the same time and pretended we were playing together, even though, like, obviously you can't actually play together in New Vegas. And it was actually really fun. Yeah, that sounds fair. Um, I find sometimes I like to just have, like, nobody around and do my thing when I'm playing a game. Because I get to a point where I'm like, I'm tired of doing things that everyone has to agree on and I want to do my thing and do it this way. <laughs> but then after I get through that, like, whatever the thing is that I want to go do, then I'm like, okay. Now it's less exciting, I need people. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I could look into the co-op thing, but, uh... I didn't even have internet in my house at the time, so really our only option was Here, looky, I have two versions of Fallout New Vegas. Let's play. <laughs> Let's play pretend! <laughs> when you have no internet, you spend a lot of time playing pretend. <laughs> I actually lived for like a few years with no internet, which some people think is absolutely crazy. And I agree, but do you have any idea how expensive internet is? <laughs> it's getting a little bit better, but like, when you're just starting out and you can barely afford food, internet is so not a priority. <laughs> They did? <laughs> Probably mostly Jack's idea. He always was the soft touch. Thanks. You've saved my life and done the Great Cons a huge favor. I'll be heading back to Red Rock Canyon now. Maybe we'll see each other there. Oh. 
A Legion patrol caught me trying to cross the river. When they found the, um, package I was carrying, they strung me up there. Well, not exactly. More like trying to expand our markets. I heard there was a lot of untapped territory down south, but the Legion caught me. I mean, I feel like I all sorts of more appreciate having internet after spending so long living without it. So that's something. Like, it's almost an upside. I feel like everyone should spend some time not having stuff. Stuff that is non-essential. Like, air conditioning and internet. Just so that they can fully appreciate how nice it is to actually have those things. Well, that's awesome. It sounds like you're having quite the upturn, which is really cool. I'm hoping that uh, since I'm officially not going back to my pre-layoff, pre-quarantine career, uh, I'm hoping that my art business will <laughs> sort of start to take off at some point. Yeah, I feel that. I can definitely relate to that. I don't know, like, I have no ambition to be, like, rich and famous. <laughs> I know some people do the Twitch thing because they want to be, like, famous and stuff on the internet. I'm not this I'm I'm super not interested in that. <laughs> like being famous sounds awful. Have you ever read a single article about what it's like to be famous? It sounds horrifying. <laughs> That's fair. I mean, I really liked my job before. Like, I wasn't making a lot of money. But it was fun. For the most part. And like, I mean, for a job, it was fun. I feel like I want to get out of here. I wonder if it'll let me fast travel. Hey, look at that. Even though there's enemies nearby as far as it says. Wiki wiki. Nice robot. Anders told me what happened. We owe you one for rescuing him. Tell you what. I can give you caps as a thank you or a special recipe Jack cooked up. Yes, I agree. I mean... Excessive money is overrated. 
I would like to have enough money to enjoy life. That sounds like enough. Like... Like, I'm super obsessed with going to concerts. And eventually, life will not be cancelled on account of COVID again. And I would like to be able to afford to start going to concerts again and still eat that month. That, that would be a good amount of money. Here you go. With Anders out of commission for so long, we've got an associate in the Crimson Caravan Trading Company who distributes for us and out of Vegas. He's been after us for a new shipment. I mean, trying to work your way up through a company is hard. I worked for, like, an independent artist as a nanny and a personal assistant, which rolled more into being like a social media and marketing manager, which was more fun than it sounds, honestly. It was pretty exciting. Like, we took a trip to New Orleans, uh, and we went to the- this is a mouthful- the American Library Association National Conference. and. It was the biggest event I've seen in my whole life. And it was completely dedicated to books. And, like, the publishing industry. And it was so much fun. Like, New, or New Orleans is a lot of fun. It does not smell good. <laughs> but that is okay because it is worth it. Like, Bourbon Street is super cool. And, uh... What was the more interesting street called? I can't remember. There's a street where all the music happens. Like, not Bourbon. Bourbon is where all the drunk tourists go. All the good music is on this other street, and I can't remember what it was. But if you ever go to New Orleans, you have to figure out what street has all the good music. And you have to go there. Great. Here's the package. Now we have a new quest. And what, we have about 35 minutes left still, so we have some time to do another quest. Where are we headed? Your job sounds pretty intense. I did not love working in big corporate style company world. I started out working retail and uh, like I worked at Home Hardware and Dairy Queen places like that and uh, like it wasn't great but it could have been worse but I spent some time working and like training to be in uh, insurance sales and just the whole the whole idea of it was ucky so I didn't do it <laughs> I ended up going back to the uh, nannying gig which turned out to be way more interesting anyways but now that I can't go back to the nannying thing I need like a new life direction Yeah, that's true.
Oh, yeah, I can see how that would be a stressful company to work in. Just cuz like that's it's a big company. It's a lot to deal with, a lot of people and yeah. I feel like delivering furniture is a thing where they want you to be particularly strong and capable of moving around furniture. While I am stronger than I look, I don't think that kind of job would be for me, for sure. Oh, I didn't know that none of the Goodwills are actually connected. Interesting. Like a credit union. Why am I here? Hmm, yes. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, I used to have a small housekeeping company, like it was just me. But I had like a bajillion clients. I worked like 10 hours a day, most days of the week. It was wild. And uh, like, it requires surprising amounts of strength <laughs> to do a 10 hour day of just Cleaning. Hello there. Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company. How can I help heavy you? Heavy shit, moving things, moving furniture. It's it's a whole thing. So I like I built up reasonable muscle between that and I worked in a grocery store and had to carry those like big ass jugs of water. I can carry three at a time, sometimes four, depending on how I feel that day. It's about the maximum amount of things I can carry. Four big ass water jugs. Huh? Oh, oh, right, yeah. I'll take that. You should go now, before you draw any attention. Yeah, that's fair. Like, a good workout is, uh,. at least almost worth it. <laughs> Everybody needs their exercise. It was exhausting though. Like, physical labor type jobs every day of the week. I ended up so burned out it was not good. Hmm. Yeah, I imagine that the whole COVID situation is uh, a lot to deal with for a company like Goodwill. All customers can be horrible. 
that is just uh it's just the way of the road I don't know, depending on where you work, I'd rather carry things than deal with some certain customers. Hey! Seems like you've been making a lot of friends around here. Great. Here's your payment. Yes, yes it is. Ha 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 ha. Oh well, it wasn't that exciting. I don't remember everything I said. But yeah, the general concept of it was like... Dealing with people sucks. And you have to be especially careful dealing with some people. Because... People can sometimes like... Really overreact to things that you wouldn't have expected. So, yeah, I like jobs that spend less time dealing with actual people. I've been taking online classes to do like, uh, like social media marketing and digital marketing management and that kind of thing, where you can like work over the computer with people, which sometimes over the internet people can be so much worse, but at least they're not in your face when they're doing it. Which... I like that better. Like, if I'm gonna deal with an asshole customer, I'd rather be dealing with them as a screen than a person I have to try not to hit. <laughs> Theoretically, as an artist, I will have to be dealing with people and customers, and that'll be a thing, but I don't know. If you find the right communities of people, then you have less issues. Yeah, you did good finding him. Okay, if you want a little work, I think I can find you something. You up for something challenging? I've got a ship of Jet and Psycho that needs to be delivered to Motor Runner at Vault 3. Don't get cocky. The fiends are twitchy. Most of them won't bother a con, but the ones outside the vault, well, they're outside for a reason. Here's the package. Good luck. Your payment will be waiting when you get back. So basically the fiends that are outside the vault are the feral ghouls of the fiends. <laughs> I think that's the concept. 
That's what she's saying. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, like, I actually buy a large percentage of my clothes from Goodwill. And most of the rest of them come from, like, Spencer's and Hot Topic. <laughs> and, uh, what's that place that took over for HMV? Sunrise Records. Um. And I find that the like, Goodwill always has decent quality stuff. And I know that Seems like I had a friend with the stake of the Mojave is gearing up who for something big. ran a donation center in a small town where I used to live, and they used to get some wild stuff. And that was just in a small town. So I can't even imagine what kind of stuff comes in in big cities. I'm sure there is a huge portion of stuff that, like, you don't even want to touch it. I can definitely believe that. I bought a dress at Goodwill says, for one day for ten dollars. I guess that the still had a tag numbered. on it from the online shop where someone had ordered it, and the tag said it was a three hundred dollar dress. And like, I really hope someone didn't pay three hundred dollars for that dress, and then donate it. But at the same time, okay. <laughs> You should have. You've been with us in our glory. Uh, my friend that ran the Goodwill type place, it was actually a Salvation Army. That's what it was. Um, Someone's looking in this small town where I used early. to live, used to put aside a couple really good things for me every once in a while, because, like, there were so many rich kids in that town, and I was not rich kids. What the fuck are you so doing all here? The really good brand you got some kind of fucking side, death wish, asshole! Aside for me, which I always really appreciated. I got, like... Lululemon sweaters and stuff for five bucks. Way better deal than none at all. Final warning, asshole. Really? Because I should have the option to say that I'm here delivering a package. Yeah, fuck off! hard to fire the person who is uh, the only employee and also runs the entire thing. She, she was the entire team and owned the building. So firing herself wasn't really an option.
Oh yeah, you were saying before how you were waiting for your watch. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna try and talk to her again, because I swear, I should have- I don't need that now. You know Fine. what? Let's start. Maybe we gonna die then. You like the sight of your own- You like the- You like the sight of your own blood? The only thing is we can get into this room as possible with the crate, so it's easier to clean up your bodies. I like my corpses in a nice neat pile, if you don't mind. Let's start this dance. Serving up some hurt. There should be all kinds of drugs in here. <laughs> well, solid effort. Keep your eye out for that mysterious someday appearing Rolex. Okay, now that's a lot of extra weight.
like the sight of your own blood? Someone who's gonna catch their chips early. Shit! You like the sight of your own blood? I don't know, I can't see much right now. You like the sight of your own blood? You like the sight of no! your own blood? At least this is great fun. But I think we gotta get out of here. We're clearly not accomplishing this quest right now. And I need to empty my pockets. Uh, actually, I think I emptied a bunch of stuff from their pockets, so I should be able to give them some stuff. Also, that plus a magazine, no, that plus a magazine will get me through that door. And we'll put the rest on... Okay. We are getting ready for Big Mountain. Wow, I missed a lot all of a sudden. Currently, because we did a Tasha Yar Star Trek themed character, she's intended to be more um, energy weapon inclined. 
But right now she's using her smashy smashy stick. There's not really much up here. No more chems. Okay, I think we can get out of here. Let's go clean up the bodies at the front door. Oh wait. Um, I think if we have a locksmith's reader, we can go through here now. I almost forgot. How the hell did you get in here? Where the fuck are my guards? I guess it isn't a secret. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the yes, residents of the vault are all dead. We killed them. Funny thing is, they just let us in. We didn't have to force the doors or anything. I got that perk from the ranger in uh, Novak, the one where you can use the shotgun to like blow people away. I don't know if that one is stay back or if that's a different one. Or... It's the one that the ranger teaches you, the one that's like a super punch. Now I can't remember. Interesting. We needed some place to put down roots. I was having trouble keeping my people out of West Side. I try to keep my people out of West Side. Apart from trying to stay on good terms with the cons who do business there. There's mean son of a bitch. That fucking mutant is more trouble to kill than to avoid. Having some place for my people to sleep reduces the chances of drifting into West Side. Yeah, that's right. I was thinking I was thinking about it and 
that one is an unarmed attack, which is why I, I usually never use it, because I don't really do unarmed fighting. Unless I'm like really, really, really strong. And then it's just for fun. About goddamn time. Tell the cons that they can't keep a steady supply. We'll find someone who can. How the hell did you get in here? Where the fuck are my guards? When get the fuck out, I'm a busy man. Now I'm gonna wait to kill him until somebody at, uh, I think, Camp McCarran gives me the quest to kill him. Just in case you don't get as much XP if you kill him now. I want max bonus. So we'll come back here sometime. <laughs> well, that would be a good way to get the boon the fuck out of the way. That would actually probably help with Rex, too, because he sometimes just stands there right in the way and looks at me like, Hey, bitch, what are you gonna do about it? That would be something to do about it. I haven't actually used Boone yet on this playthrough, which is unusual for me. I miss the door to go upstairs. Rex's best doggo, but he sometimes gets right in the fucking way and won't do anything to change that. <laughs> and sometimes he's in just such a place that you cannot jump over him. And then I get real mad. That hasn't stopped me from fast traveling so far today. So let's find out. Nope. I'm gonna go ahead and actually count these ones. Sign so of your fight. own blood! Damn it, that's gonna sting! I'm close, I don't wanna run behind all your bodies. search for them later.
There's another one here. <laughs> those uh those were some wild wild typos i concur but that's okay the general point still got across um let's do a quick chat here with diane and then i think Did you make we're that gonna delivery call that yet? the end because this is and past my end time for my stream here. And you didn't even get skinned alive. I'm impressed. Only a Here's your payment. Not right at the moment. Okay. That's, uh... Pretty much all that she's got to say, so we're gonna do... Another quick save. Snap, crackle, pop, and other cereal mascots. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna call that the end for tonight. And uh, I'm gonna sign off here. Thank you all for coming by and watching the stream. I really appreciate everyone who came in and watched today. Uh, if there's any new followers still watching, thank you so much for joining us today and joining the team. And hopefully we will see you again. Uh, I hope everybody has a good night. And I believe I am back... What is tomorrow? Tomorrow's Saturday. Uh, so tomorrow... For Saturday, it's going to be Treater Day, the day of the week that we try and beat our new follower uh, record, which right now is seven in one stream. And every new follow gets Binks a treat. So tomorrow is our special event day of the week where Pupper gets lots of extra treats. So if you have any friends that would be interested in the stream, send them by. Maybe they'd like to uh, follow and give Binks some treats. Uh, and it's worth mentioning, if any of you were interested in subscribing, uh, tier two and three subscribers get an emote that says treat time, and you can use that to give Binks a treat anytime at all during the stream, uh, any day of the week. As long as it's not like, you know, 40 in one stream or something, because thinks his health is still priority one. <laughs> but we got him some pretty healthy treats. And, uh, yeah. So, keep that in mind, and hopefully some of you guys will stop by tomorrow. And thank you for being here. I'll